Hey guys, so today we are going to do a video on tips and tricks on how to make turtle ponds. This video was requested by uh, Caleb Spain, or Spine, I'm guessing it's Spain. But um, this is tips and tricks. Now, like usual, if we get, if we're lucky, we'll get a glimpse of one of the sliders. Mm, yep, there's one of the sliders on the log. Um, that's my female painted, female Midland painted um, Pacifica. There's uh, one of them. Oh, it just went down. My big, my big slider female. But um, Miss Pacifica, she's a really nice turtle. She's really friendly. I'm a social. But uh, oh, there's claws. My male Midland painted. He's also the friend, one of the friendly social ones. And I don't know if you can see, but right there, I'm not sure. But there's my biggest female slider is on there as well. Um, so. Well, so as you saw in my last video, the water was super green, and now it's um, pretty clear because I cleaned it. Um, there are fish in here. There are uh, creek chubs, a pleco, some bluegill, and just goldfish. And there's a bullfrog in here, probably under that rock, like normal. Um, but let's get into the video because I shot one last time, and it was way too long, and it wasn't uploading. So let's get into the video. So firstly... Don't ever buy an actual liner, like a pond liner, because you can get, this is not an actual pond liner, it's actually something people put on your roof, to put shingles on top of, so it makes it your roof more waterproof. Get this instead of the actual liner. One, it's a lot cheaper. Two, surprisingly, it can be more durable. And three, um, you will feel a lot better, and you'll be able to really put your money that... You would normally spend into a liner or something else like decorations or filters or maybe even something living in your pond. Um, I believe this is a 30 mil, 30 mil liner. If you want nothing, absolutely nothing below 30 mil, I really suggest 60 mil for any big turtles like snapping turtles, soft shells, um, big sliders like I have. Um, um, I suggest having play sand or gravel on the bottom of your pond I suggest play sand because all of the debris goes and settles on the bottom of the um, pond and doesn't get settled in so it's easier for the filter to get it and surprisingly it's easier for you to clean it so this half so about here around is just gravel and then in here is play sand this is like turtle um, river rocks and stuff play sand then we have our board here help them get out onto the bank easily, which is something you'll want to have. you want a barrier around your pond, and you also want some dirt on the sides to make it level. Um, another thing is, I know this is probably dumb, but some people, I do know, some people get their water imported from ponds and lakes. Just get something from your garden hose and put some, some chemicals in it, or turtle safe chemicals in it to take the... Um, chlorine or any bacteria that could be out of it um this duckweed helps a lot you can just go to any swamp or pond near you just get some duckweed like i have and some lily pads um i really um this doesn't help the water to be cleaner or clear i'm sorry it helps to take all of the chemicals that could be in the water out um trying to think of some trips another thing you don't really need to buy a filter you just want to buy a good sized pump and make a bucket thing like I have. Here we have um, just some bath scrubbies in there. And it filters pretty good. Um, really easy to clean and it catches a lot of the debris out from the pond that gets the filter sucked up. So the pump gets sucked up, which is good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really not that hard to dig a pond, a, a nice turtle pond like this. Um, it just takes time, and it takes a little while for you know, the turtles to get settled in and have a nice home and everything. You know, you add stuff on and on. Like, I just made that thing. I just added that yesterday when I got done cleaning the pond. Um, I know I said at one of these videos I've taken, I said I was going to put boards on there, on there, on there. So them so it, they won't escape, or if they try to escape. 
Um, I feel like I'm missing something. So if you have any questions on anything, um, any questions on how to dig a pond, how you, the, the best area for a turtle pond. Oh, the best area for a turtle pond. Somewhere it will, it will not get full sun all day. Now, there's sun. This turtle pond gets starts getting sun around 11.30 to 12 p.m. And anytime after that, it pretty much gets full sun. And if that is the case, you're going to want something like this rock. Like this rock here covers partly some of the pond and some of this duckweed and um, lily pads. And you'll want to make a considerably good depth so they can be cool when it's hot. Um, another thing, if you live in an area where it gets cold, like I do, where like six, seven months of the year it's cold and the ice is over, you want to dig a pond at the minimum, you want it to be a foot. The minimum. Because the um, ice depth, the ice line is six inches. And you don't really want your turtles being frozen in ice like Captain America. So, um, the minimum you would like is six inches. Another thing you can do, um, what I did during the winter is I just moved the hose. I didn't move the filter. I just moved the, um, hose over here, which is where they hibernated and had it running over here so it wouldn't freeze completely, which it did. But, um, it didn't freeze down to the turtles. Um, since these, if you use, um, wild caught turtles, like... This one is wild caught, and that one is wild caught. Surprisingly, because they're the most friendly out of the five turtles that are in here. Um, it's okay. Like, I just went into my woods there, and I just um, cut down that dead log there. Um, that was one that we had in our yard, that a tree that had died, so we just used that. Um, I got some of those untreated boards. I mean, it, it's it's safe, and it's fine to use them because, well, they're, they're pond turtles, you know? They're not... You know, tank species that, like they're native, um, native species. They're used to this being in their water. They're used to a lot um, worse being in their water. So it's fine to have some wood and stuff in there. Don't be real. Don't be shy on putting stuff in here like rocks or hiding places. You'll want to have some of those. And I suggest having native species in your pond. Um, if you're using it as like a summertime thing for, like, say you live in Kentucky and you have a Mississippi map turtle, um, you could dig a pond like this and have it out here during the summer, but I wouldn't suggest having it in the winter because Kentucky winter is a lot, um, different than a Mississippi winter. So that being said, if you would like to hibernate your turtles in here, I suggest having them like hiding places in here and I suggest having an area where they can just sit almost to the surface of the water or have like a fold in the um, pond where they can like kind of wedge themselves up in there so they don't have to like you know every other day wake up get a breath and if not they would most likely die or something something would happen so I suggest having some things like this out here so they can sit there and Hibernate. So if you guys have any questions on anything, just let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer. Um, it took me about a week to do this pond from start to finish. I dug this pond by hand. So if you said any questions, comments, make sure to hit subscribe and make sure to hit a like. And thanks for watching.